Julius, the dirigible. This may look strange, and indeed it is. This is called an air base. Um, and basically, it's a big disc with a fan and some Velcro surrounds. And it has a couple of these different attachments. These different sort of fabric -y attachments. Inside here, there is a base plate with power connector and DMX input and output loop throughs and you get to those via terminals on the base of the thing. We also get to the controls that lets you switch the thing on and do this. It'll get there. Now the idea of this is that you put a lighting fixture within the airbase and then it inflates. Now obviously we're a little limited in the height we can inflate it to in here because of, because of the roof. The roof. Um, so pretty much once you've inflated it at full speed with the fan, you can dial it back. There's an air pressure sensor, so if it finds itself deflating, it will kick the fans in and so on. Um, we had this outside uh, for, for a couple of hours. Running, it's running off battery at the moment, um, and it's still running off the same charge it was when it arrived here. Um, still running off the same charge? Still running off the same charge. I haven't actually charged it That's yet. That's pretty good, given that we had it outside for our CX 2012 media launch, which ran well into the night. It did. And here we are again. And here we are again. Um, so we had just a lead par inside, and it, it's actually, it's a really good effect, visually. Um, I've switched it off now. So let's see if we can deflate this a little bit. Um, yeah, so the basic the basic premise is that it's it's a visual effect. Now we should this take is a, the cover off. This is a five people. meter cone within the base. Couple of big plates inside. We've got the clear dome. Ooh, clear dome. And we've got the eight meter high oh, that's a cone meter. as well. And we've got some Velcro straps. Wow. Which keep it all nicely sort of secured in there. We've got our captive DMX lines, so you can plug those into your lighting fixture, as well as a standard 10 amp 3 pin power outlet. Assuming that the thing's connected to the mains. Yeah, it's assuming, power assuming power that the through. thing's connected to the mains. Yeah, we had a little lead, um, a battery operated lead power in here. That, that, it looked fantastic outside the other night. And it ran for several hours. Yeah, and people slowed down, stopped the car. The neighbours had no idea what was going in, on. Came asked us what it was. Yeah. Um, look, the, the basic premise of this is, I think it's going to go really well in environments where you've got the roof height to use it. It's not It's not a small venue thing. You wouldn't there's, put there's this in the pub. There's a commercial aspect to this, and that's I'm noticing on my travels that some of the really smart production companies around Australia are sneaking into theming because there's good money to be made. I mean, look, someone's having an event. You say, what can I possibly do for you? Leave it all to me. Hmm. Yeah, whether it's purple stars <laughs> on the tables or uh, oh, you know, inflatable air bases. Cubes. If you've got lead pars, you might as well deploy them. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think a par 64 at full bore in here would be a very good idea. I don't, I don't think anything that created a lot of heat in here would be a good idea. I mean, that said, it does have air constantly pumping yeah. through it. And I wouldn't put a candle in there. Uh, I wouldn't put anything flammable no. or on fire in there. Um, what can possibly go wrong? What can possibly go wrong? It's the Airbase 850. 850 ACCU from Pro Shop. Yep, it's through Showtech Australia. Um, Knock yourself out. Yeah. 